what Brian's done has been on the cutting edge of science throughout his career. Brian was ahead of the curve with AI and, and neural nets. AI has been exploding in the pharma world now. He changed the way that drugs are developed. Brian always has an end game, and the end game is always, what can I do to make things better? I was born in uh, Red Deer, Alberta. I think it was in fourth grade. Moved to the big town of Westlock. Both of my parents really impressed upon all of us, not just me, but my brothers and sisters, the importance of hard work. Growing up in a farm, you don't necessarily have access to all the types of books and things that you, know, you might have if you lived in a large urban area. But we had a set of world book encyclopedias. And I would read from A to Z, and that was really the source of all of my knowledge in the world. Always kind of a problem solver, a strategist, he's very pragmatic. Made the decision to, to go to university and subsequently into a pharmacy school at the University of Alberta. After graduating, I went back to my hometown of Westlock. I worked as a pharmacist. It was not something that was of primary interest to me. I just thought that maybe there was other ways that I could help patients. One day he showed up and he had this computer program called BrainMaker, neural networks. He said, yeah, I'm trying to see if I could use it to dose drugs. And he had a tiny little data set of lithium. We put it together, we trained this neural net, took my, the poor little computer in those days, about a week, smoke coming out of it and everything. And it worked really, really well. And Brian wrote it up and I helped him as much as I could and it won an award. Now it's something that's used at drug companies all over the place. They're trying to get drugs on the market in a way that proves that they are safe and effective in an efficient manner. That PhD and what I learned within that basic pharmacokinetics understanding was really the foundation for a lot of the things that I've been doing for the last 30 years. He went to Glaxo first. And then he ended up at Pfizer as the director, global director of clinical pharmacology. What Brian's known for is the steps in the process where you determine what happens to that drug within a human body. Clinical pharmacology is what tells the clinicians how to dose the drug, how to give it to a human being who might have renal function, might be elderly, things like that. My group is responsible for measuring all the drug concentrations in all the trials that we conduct globally. All the special studies that are done, things like, you know, understanding what happens if you have liver damage or kidney damage, older populations, pediatric populations. For example, the COVID vaccine studies are run by the group that I'm in, Global Product Development. Probably had a more direct role in the therapeutics. So Pfizer reporting results on its oral antiviral drug for COVID coming in at 89% and reducing the risk of hospitalization or death from COVID. I, I don't think you can quite describe that emotion. When those results come out, you're, you're really, and they're so good. It is the, the, the accomplishment that, you know, I, I, I will cherish. He sets up environments for people to succeed, just brings out the best in people and everyone around him. He's a tremendous example of what we can do in terms of educating in the life sciences and, and really uh, building people that change the world because the drugs he makes change the world. We are all very proud of him. Often wonder how we grew up in the same house. <laughs>